Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am back on Dirt 4, going to be taking a look at the random course generator. Now, various games have tried this with a varying degree of success. Dirt 4 is the best that I've come across. The best that I've come across by some way. It is absolutely fantastic. Now this means that there is an unlimited number of good rally stages to play with. The stuff that we're going to go racing around today, no one will have raced on before. And unless I save them, no one will race on after. I kind of quite like that. And yeah, there is an unlimited replayability with these rally events. Now we're going to start off with some classic rally cars because I quite like them. And also because, as you can see, there is... A brilliant, brilliant car here. Uh, there are varying different uh, categories of vehicles. You've got your really historic cars, the, the Mini Cooper, the Lanciers, and so on. You've got some rear-wheel drive cars. You have got uh, more powerful rear-wheel drive cars, including the Opel Ascona, which is quite interesting to see. Uh, you've got your Group B vehicles, as you would expect. Of course, there's all the modern categories as well. But we actually have a 205 GTI. Not a T16, not the Group B car, just the proper brilliant, brilliant hot hatch. And I am very, very... Very pleased to uh, to see that make it in here. Always wanted one of these in a game to play around with properly. And yeah, we do in here. Best of all, it comes in Fell Race Orange. We <laughs> it's just spot on. Uh, right, we're going to go and add an event. We have got, uh, we've only got five locations for actual rally stages, which as I mentioned when we talked about the cart crosses, a little bit of a shame and a little bit of a, an admission to not have Finland. That's such a famous rally, such a big rally. It seems like a little bit of a missed opportunity. What there is here is good. Uh, you know, Australia, we've got, the, we've got the dusty Australian roads. Spain's got the tarmac. Sweden's got the snow. Uh, Michigan is gravel and dirt, and Wales is pretty much mud. So it's a good variety of, uh, of stages. It's just a shame that the horrendously fast finished stages aren't here. It is what it is. Um, we're going to jump over to Wales. So we're going to generate a couple of stages. The way that it works, you head over here. You can choose the length of stage. So you can go all the way to this end and you will get around nine miles. That's actually the first time I've seen a stage uh, top ten miles. Uh, normally they sit at around the high eights. Um, yeah, basically between a high high eight mile circuit and a very low 10 mile circuit so you can get some pretty decent length stages now personally i tend to prefer around two or three mile stages so something around here you've also got the complexity slider so you can have relatively simple relatively straightforward i say relatively simple and straightforward it is not going to have horrendous hairpins but it's likely to be fast that can throw up its own challenges as well or you can have arsehole stage with lots of hairpin potentially lots of elevation changes lots of horrible little bumps and there is just yeah constant number. That's an interest. That's a really that's a really steep climb for one bit. It's four hundred and ten foot. Elevator. We're going to go for that one. Sure, let's give it a try. Uh, you've also got time of day. I'm going to leave it on nice nice visibility for this. Uh, seeing as you know we go down stages never driven before, uh, I don't want to have horrendous fog as well to deal with because I'm commentating and won't be able to hear the co-driver particularly well. So we're going <laughs> to give myself half a chance. And for our next stage, we will go for again similar distance, and then we'll go for the Fast and terrifying. It looks simple. That actually does look very simple a stage. I bet it isn't. <laughs> I bet it is not. There is 16 foot elevation change in that to the 400 from the <laughs> first stage. Right, let us go and uh, begin one small, again, another small gripe. I only have, you know, small gripes with, uh, with this game. Loading times are a little bit long. I imagine they probably will be faster when it comes to PC. And they're not like GTA 5 levels of horrendousness. But, uh, yeah, they do take a little bit of time. If that's what you have the price we pay for incredible track generation, then I will happily pay it. So here we are ready to begin the rally. Another very interesting feature of this one. This is the, the order that the cars are being set off in. And as you can see on the left hand side, we've got varying different times. There's a minute in between each car. And if we have random weather, you can have, well, different conditions. The cars setting off at front might have it dry, while the cars further down might have to contend with rain, vice versa. Just adds another dynamic uh, aspect to the events, to the challenges, and, you know, while, yeah, that might mean you get screwed over on a stage, you've got to make the most of the conditions. It can happen in real rallying, so it is something to have to fight with, contend with. Here, I really like that. I really like, you know, added randomness to events, stuff that, you know, as a driver, you have to try and deal with. Uh, likewise, uh, cars, I believe, will be able to break down from... Um, 
varying mechanical failures. While the vehicles I'm using are all rental cars, because I'm just playing in free play at the moment to show this stuff off. When you get to the career mode, you can buy cars with worn parts, and parts can fail on cars. Cars can break down. You can get punches. Of course, I can break apart on this as we're going through the stage. I may well end up breaking bits on the car. Hopefully, I'm not going to crash, but uh, yeah, bits will fail. Tires will get punches. Uh, drive line can have issues. All of the expected, expected problems can befall your car. I have seen, you know, you can before AI cars as well. You know, AIs will have mechanical failures. I have seen on like, the very, very first uh, sort of test run that I did on this game, there was an AI car that had broken down halfway down the rally stage. This was a randomly generated stage as well, I would like to point out. He broke down and the car was on the road. And as you would see in real rallying, there were like spectators and marshals waving flags to warn you of a stricken car up ahead. Now, whether we're going to see that here, I don't know. It is possible. But it's just that level of detail is ridiculous. It really is absolutely incredible. Ooh, got away with it. Just, just about got away with uh, that one. Now, the random, the random track generation was always something that uh, I was perhaps a little bit, I was a little bit apprehensive about. I've seen it tried before, and it doesn't always work out. What I was apprehensive about was whether the stages would feel flowing, whether they would, whether they would feel like a randomly generated one, or whether they would feel like a normal rally stage, like a, a specifically created or a, a replicated rally stage. This feels like a rally stage. You know, and it, this doesn't feel like it is a uh, random generator, you know, plopping down corners and bits and pieces. It feels like a proper rally stage. And the most impressive thing of all is not that it's just created a, a flowing a flowing stage and whatnot for me to contend with. It is that the pace notes are spot on. Now, as I, as I said, it's a little bit more difficult for me uh, commentating to completely follow the pace notes. I tend to more follow the icons at the top, and if I catch anything he says, it's, uh, yeah, kind of follow that. But uh, from my tests that I've been doing and so on, they are absolutely spot on. I've not had a problem. I mean, I've made mistakes as a driver, sure, but uh, I've not had a problem with the pace notes, you know, giving me late calls or giving me horrendously early calls or wonky calls or any of that. It is all absolutely spot on. And this is on a randomly generated circuit. It's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. And that means, yeah, there is a unlimited number of incredible rally stages. You may get a duff one, you know. There's, uh, it's, not, it's not impossible that some stages might end up to be a little bit worse than others. However, we look at the road that we've got sprawling ahead before us here. There are spectators along the side where you might expect spectators to be. I have no doubt, you know, if you go exploring the scenery of the distance probably won't be great, but you're going to be focusing so difficult, or so, so much I should say, it's so difficult getting the rally cars around these uh, these roads. And it's not going to matter if the trees in the distance look a little bit dodgy. On the uh, to be fair, they don't. <laughs> they don't look particularly bad in, in the distance. Not that I can really glance at them for any length of time here, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's, I, I think it is so, so well done, so well implemented. It is a brilliant feature, and it really, it's really going to make future rally games have to seriously work to beat this, because when you've got this number of brilliant stages, <laughs> that's, that is a really tough act to follow. Are we going to go for a tumble? No, we're not. We ran a little bit wide, but we kept it out of trouble. Just about. I love the 205 as well as a rally car. This GZI is brilliant, brilliant fun. As we are bouncing around. Not massively quick. That is uh, very true, but brilliant car nevertheless. And we also have another new little uh, neat feature. Wow, we found a lot of time on that final sector. Uh, you actually can manually control the car to park by the marshal post. It's a little thing. I imagine if you go flying through, you'll probably get a penalty. But it's just another little little added detail. You can, if you don't want it, you can turn it to automatically break the car and automatically slow it. But uh, it's all these little, little details. They just add up. They you know, give you a, a sense of a sense of occasion, a sense of a, you know, a proper rally event that you're going to. It is, it is serious. I can't praise this game enough. It is seriously, seriously good. Yeah, there are the odd little flaw here and there. It's by no means 100% perfect. But uh, of the rally games that I have played, this one is the best i think um, if you want just serious serious pure pure rallying dirt rally is perhaps a, a little bit better just because that fully focuses on the on the rally you know you've got the likes of finland and so on are in there you've got to press a little bit more in terms of locations but in terms of number of rally stages 
this one's going to have it beaten <laughs> just because of this this generator right so that was the technical stage that we just ran through we are now going to go to the well that was the the highly complex stage we're now running to okay, or heading to, to the less sure complex complex rally so expect this one to be faster not not easier i should don't, don't, don't make a point just because it's not complex doesn't mean that it's an easier stage it just means it's going to be faster and uh, there will be less of the hairpins let's hope that we can continue our uh, our winning streak here as we are i say winning streak we've had one we've had one stage win uh, which is miserably better than I was doing with the cart crosses, although that was because of a jump start. Uh, st I'm still annoyed at myself for that. I mean, you don't watch that video, I'm still very annoyed that I managed to uh, cop that one up. But there we go. Uh, so yeah, you can see already this stage clearly significantly faster. So you can build, I mean, you can build up your own fast stages, but they're never quite going to be like Finland. And, and even on these, you know, much less complex stages. You are still going to have, you know, they're still going to loop around. You are still going to have tight corners to be uh, to be worrying about. I think we had, we had like an eight-second lead going into this one, so we can afford to be a little bit more cautious if need be, or in this case, if we have to throw the car off the course to avoid a sign. I, literally, I shouldn't talk. I, I shouldn't say anything about things going well or should, just none, none of it, because whenever I do, oh, we've got water splash coming up here, so they will be implemented into the uh, random stages. Uh, it did look like. I didn't really see a river, but it was sort of surrounded by um, uh, surrounded by banks, so there could have been a river uh, sort of sprawling around down there. I know that was a poor sector because we got lost uh, a, a little a little smidge around there, but we're still right within the uh, within contention here as we are going to throw the car through here. There's another water splash. We've got a couple of water splashes going on around here. Okay, so the water splashes do just seem to be like puddles rather than actual uh, actual rivers. That's perhaps the most almost out of place, most noticeable, um, slight, slight thing that's a random circuit generation. I, that is uh, that's the first time I've ever really noticed it be a random circuit generation, just based on, on that. Oh no! We're gonna roll twice, thrice, another one, maybe. Uh, where's the gear, 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 oh, I'm not gonna gear. Uh, I don't know where the circuit is. Where's the circuit? Uh, are we going this way? I hope so. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost a door! <laughs> the door's come off! It's all gone a little bit wrong. It's a proper foul race video now. I've rolled a 205 GTI. That's, uh, oh, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed in myself. It's too much speed and a uh, corner. Oh, now we're going to get soggy because we've got no door and we've got a water splash. This one's had the most water splashes I've seen on any stage yet. There's a lot of them around this particular part of, uh, of Wales. So, come on. I'll throw it through. I was actually expecting Wales to be a slightly muddier stage rather than just this full gravel that we've got going on. Oh, we got we got second. We were only a second down. We rolled like uh, we we rolled, not rolled. I don't know what I'm my English is giving up. We rolled three or four times. I didn't really count. Oh, oh, look at the sad little Peugeot. I'm sorry, 205. I apologise for the small battering that. Uh, <laughs> you took there. How on earth did we manage? I actually want to go and watch the uh, watch the replay. Let's try and get it through to the point because I'm curious to see. It was a spectacular roll. It was a very very vicious one. I'm amazed I managed to get it back on track because you get oh, whoop, you get completely disorientated. Uh, can we not? Oh, we can reverse. Uh, let's reverse it at that kind of. Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! There we go. Right. Whoa! Uh, okay. Slow. I'll get used to the replay controls eventually. Uh, <laughs> Got it, yeah. Very, very disorientating when you tumble off, and especially when there was no real visible scenery. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, we got typical, we go to an in car camera. That is disappointing. Uh, that is di oh no, we can actually change. Oh, so we can choose to watch it from like a uh, helicopter camera. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Look at that go. That is a real big roll. And we amazingly, so I had to like fight and find a gear. I, yeah, got away. You got to straight back on the course. That was literally perfect recovery, despite not really being able to uh, to have known that. Well, <laughs> eventful. Eventful, to say the least, in my 205. And we will, will win the stage. They repaired my car to take it on the podium. <laughs> I love that they did that. <laughs> We won some money in all of that. We actually leveled. I got a Fearless Driving Award. I don't know what they're for. I got it. I think it's just bonus points for the tumble. I w I'm going to go with that. Okay, we're going to go with claiming it as bonus points for the tumble. Right. That was good fun. That was good fun indeed. Shall we? We're going to back out here. I'm going to go have a grab of a uh, modern rally car. And we will... Let's have a look at the different categories we've got over here. So we've got R5, which would be... 
I guess the current WRC cars. We've got the uh, the two thousands four wheel drive. We've got the the N the NR four the R four that category. We've got the Group A uh, all wheel drive kit cars. So the three hundred six and the Ibiza are back, and the R two, which I guess are kind of your entry level. Uh, rally cars these days, front wheel drive vehicles. Shall we go? I'm sure we've got to go Group A, I think. We'll go Group A in this. Ooh, what do we go for, though? Do we go Escort? Do we go Delta? Uh, what's got the most power? The Delta is also lightest. I think that is uh, the <laughs> the answer for you right there. We'll go and grab the uh, the Delta. What liveries have we got on the car? Okay, not a huge selection. I'm fairly confident while I haven't played the um, career mode, the sort of the creator team mode, I have no doubt you'll be creating your own custom livery with your own sponsors, etc. What we're going to do here, shall we head... We've got to go to... Oh, no, let's go to Tarmac, actually. Let's go to Spain. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to create a little bit longer stage. We'll just do a one-stage event here. So we'll go for kind of a... Wow, that is a stage and a half right there. Uh, we'll go for kind of like a five-mile stage. Um, that is a really... That's a really nasty stage. Can we... Yeah, they're all going to be nasty stages. Plenty of hairpins to be getting on with. Sure, maybe we'll make it one longer. So we'll go, yeah, we have five miles. And a pretty sizable amount of elevation change to be contending with. Brilliant. Uh, I say elevation change. I don't know if that's overall. It looks like it is. It looks like it's going to go really steep towards the end. We'll see. You know what? We'll be brave. To, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Random weather. Anything can happen. Apparently it looks like it's going to be partly cloudy in the end with that one. Sure. Uh, <laughs> It might be, it, I think it might be partly cloudy at night, but then it would be dark, so it wouldn't really matter. I don't know how it's going to load in. Look, the picture shows sunset, but whether we're going to have sunset, whether we're going to have sunrise, who knows? Fingers crossed we don't throw the Lancia off a Spanish mountain road. So we are going to be, well, setting off pretty much in the middle of this uh, of this run no chance of rain for anybody and it's going to be well, pretty much the same conditions we were driving before already it's a kind of sunset so we're probably going to be blinded going into a couple of quarters brilliant uh, please don't crash please don't crash please don't be in the lance here we, we rolled the 205 but got away with it uh, I, I should point out that uh, again this is on the, the toughest level of difficulty for the AI I have tended to be faster with the uh, the front-wheel drive cars in comparison to the AIs than with the all-wheel drive vehicles. I just don't quite extract as much out of these. I'm not brave enough uh, or skilled enough, really, with the car to uh, really make these ones these ones work. So I might be uh, struggling a little bit more here. We will have to wait and see. Ooh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Corners already. Uh, what gear what, third gear? No, don't clip the inside. Don't do that, because that's how you have a really silly accident. Because I have no doubt we will be able to roll this very, very easily. Also, got to really watch the braking. As the speed is going up with a car like this, you can get away with a lot more trail braking in the uh, 205. You will not get away with it so much in this. You will spin the car around if you are being dumb with the uh, with the braking and the steering and so on. We are a little bit down on that uh, first sector. I was a little bit cowardly in a couple of places, I know. We're three seconds down. A lot of work to be trying to do here. A lot of speed to hopefully try and find in a sector anywhere we can try and make some speed up again this is a randomly generated stage we've got this lovely fast flowing section now we've got a little bit of a nastier corner coming up you wouldn't know you really really wouldn't know Ooh, saved it <laughs> got away with that one I would like to say skill I think there's a little bit of skill hopefully in all of that but uh, that was nasty we have we are still again pointing all the right direction uh, oh that's not skill that was uh, poor driving Let, letting down the lads here once more I can't let down all these brilliant brilliant legendary rally cards we five five little bit of a slide I'm not sure I'm not sure how much speed I can take in these not driven the um, well, that was a bit of a nasty corner. It looked like the, the dirt road goes off. Not driven the Group A cars before, so not really sure on uh, level of uh, level of speed here. Uh, level of grip, perhaps, is the more important thing. I'm all sorts of wonky. Where are we going now? That's an interesting little section to have gone through. Plenty of crowds at that particular corner. Oh, I don't like this uh, kind of alleyway bit we've got going on. Don't hit the wheel. Uh, who dropped a rock there? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's certainly an obstacle to deal with. I don't know whether you'll ever get the... I doubt it, because I haven't seen it, but uh, the like the, the man-made chicanes that you see in some of the WRC stages now, uh, where they put out the hay bales, or in one rally, a tractor, 
because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll see them appear. Uh, admittedly, they are... I think in Germany it tends to be where they have them the most on these on these stages, and well, there is a German rally here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know whether you'll have obstacles like that, but apparently you'll have rocks in the middle of a corner to uh, have to try and worry about. I also love how they put cones by the rock, like tiny little cones. You would notice the rock before you notice the cones, I think. There, but never mind. Oh, God, where are we going here? <laughs> that was a little bit scary. I had a slight panic moment. Oh, I need to carry more speed. We need to be a little bit braver. But when you get that little bit braver, that's when one overstepping the mark. You see, at the moment, I am getting away with it. If we make a small error, I'm surviving. When you start getting that little bit braver, you make that small error, and that is when it is game over for the car. And while I know we're not currently winning, we are somewhere around the top three, which is not too shabby. We've got a, another fastest sector there. I think we're getting into the hairpin bits. Ooh, big, big slide from Valencia. You won't see me sliding the cars around very much and I just my driving style is to have the cars planted as much as possible and admittedly here you know we're on tarmac I don't really want to be sliding the car we're sliding the car we're wasting time uh, very tight hairpins of course but uh, I haven't come across anything that I've felt the need to be uh, intentionally getting the car sideways around oh we've had a bad sector here we've lost a lot of time I think uh, on the leader oh just caught it oh brushed the side there's about to go wrong <laughs> Come on, recover, 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 recover. There we go. Yes. Uh, I saw how far down we were. I started pushing a little bit harder, and then it was, a, I don't know, 10 centimetres too wide, and that was all it took, 10 centimetres. And we got a win on the dirt, and I couldn't quite bring the car back in line again. It was a relatively minor incident. Uh, as far, as far as rally incidents go, that's a relatively minor one. It was a half a half spin. Uh, and up around the next hairpin, a little bit too much power, a little bit too much oversteer going on there. Try, again, I want to be braver. I want to be braver to try and make up some time. Really enjoying this stage, but I'm not about to enjoy it anymore. Oh. I think that's a DNF. Yeah, terminal damage. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> I was enjoying that sector. I was carrying speed, but I couldn't quite slow it down enough. Couldn't slow it down enough, and that was a visit of a tree. Damn it. Damn and blast and all of those things. <laughs> well, we won in the Peugeots, despite a big tumble. Couldn't quite achieve a similar feat with the Lancia meeting a tree. Had an intimate meeting with a tree. The tree came out the better of the two of it. Yeah, the, the course generator is utterly phenomenal it really is a brilliant brilliant thing there is so much potential for well for replayability essentially out here but that is uh yeah going to be it for this for this video thank you very much everyone for watching and until next time uh goodbye